subtracting the given numbers in group of tens with the help of borrowing. Friends, today in this video, we will learn subtraction by borrowing using groups of tens with the help of conversation between Chi Chi and Chu Chu. Oh, Chu Chu, when are you coming? Yeah, I have come. Oh, your house is very beautiful. Thank you, Chu Chu. Would you like to eat chocolate? Um, um, yummy. We ate 18 chocolates out of 52. So now how many chocolates are left? I don't know. Chi Chi, let's do subtraction after writing 52 and 18 in the box of 1s and 10s. Yes, let's do it. You had 52 chocolates, which means 5 tens and 2 ones chocolates. We ate 18, means 1 ten and 8 ones chocolates of them. So, here we have to perform 52 minus 18. So, first of all, we will perform subtraction of the numbers in the box of 1's. But here 2 is smaller number compared to 8. So how can we subtract big number from a small number? We cannot subtract a big number from a smaller number. So here we will borrow 1 tens from the number 5 of the box of tens. It means the number in the place of 1's can borrow from its neighbor number in the box of 10's. Right? Yes. So, you are borrowing 1 10 from the 5 10's in the place of 10's means subtracting 1 10 from 5 10's which makes it 4 10's. Oh, so here 1 10 will be less in the place of 10's. Absolutely right. Now in the box of 1's, it will be 1 borrowed 10's equal to 10 ones. Now it will be 2 ones plus 10 ones, meaning 12 ones in the box of 1's. Now if we subtract 8 ones from 12 ones, we will have 1, 2, 3 and 4 left. Yes, so we will write 4 in the place of 1's. Now, we have to subtract the numbers of the tens place. If we subtract one ten from four tens, we will get three tens. So, we will write three in the place of tens. So, this way, after eating 18 chocolates from 52 chocolates, we would have 34 chocolates left. Now, if we will eat 15 more chocolates out of the 34 chocolates, then how many chocolates would we have left with? How many would be left if we will subtract 15 from 34? Let's count it. 34 means 3 ten and 4 ones. 15 means 1 tens and 5 ones. We cannot subtract 5 from 4 in the box of ones. So we will borrow 1 tens from 3 tens from the box of tens. So, if we subtract 1 ten from 3 tens of box of tens, then we would have 2 tens. We will write 2 at the top of the box of tens. Now, we will have 1 borrowed 10 means 10 ones plus 4 ones equal to 14 ones in the box of ones. Now, if we subtract 5 ones from 14 ones, we would have 9 ones left. So, we will write 9 in the place of 1's. Now, if we subtract 1 ten from 2 tens in the place of 10's, then we will have 1 ten left. So, we will write 1 in the box of 10's. So, this way, if we eat 15 chocolates from 34 chocolate, then we would have 19 chocolates left. Chuchu, would you eat more chocolates? 
Oh no! Now if I will eat more chocolates, then my teeth will get cavities. Yes, you are right. Chichi, let us make a bouquet with these roses. Yes, let's do it. Children, in this video, you have learned subtracting the given numbers in groups of tens with the help of borrowing. In the next video, we will see how Chichi and Chuchu use borrowing for subtractions while making a bouquet of flowers. Children, you have learned how to subtract two digit numbers with borrowing in the previous video. In this video, we will see some examples to perform subtraction with borrowing listening to the conversation between Chichi and Chuchu. Chichi, let's decorate the house by making a bouquet of this 34 roses. Yes, let's make it. I will make a bouquet of 17 flowers and you make a bouquet with the remaining flowers. Hmm, if you will make a bouquet with 17 flowers of the 34 flowers, then how many flowers would be left for me to make a bouquet? Let's subtract 17 from 34. Yes, first of all, we will write these numbers in the box of 1's tens and then perform the subtraction. Hmm, but here we cannot subtract 7 from 4 in the box of 1's. So, we will borrow 1 ten from 3 tens in the box of 10's. Yes, so now we will write 14 1's instead of 4 in the box of 1's and 2 tens instead of 3 tens in the box of tens. Now, first of all, if we will subtract 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 from 14 in the place of 1's, then we will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 left in the place of 1's. Now look here. If we subtract 1 ten from 2 tens, then we will have 1 ten in the box of tens. Yes, so this way, if I make a bouquet with 17 flowers from 34 flowers, then you too will have 17 flowers left to make a bouquet. Oh wow! We would have the same number of flowers. Now let's both make a bouquet like this by taking all our flowers together. Oh, look, these beautiful bouquets are ready. Let's put these in that flower vase. Wow, it looks beautiful. Okay, Chichi, now I have to go. Yes, see you. Children, I hope you have learned how to subtract two digit numbers with borrowing a little better with the help of this video. In the next video, we will understand what mistake does Chi Chi make while performing subtraction with borrowing. Children, you have learned how to subtract two digit numbers with borrowing in the previous video. In this video, we will learn some interesting facts related to subtraction using borrowing with the help of the conversation between Chi Chi and Chu Chu. Oh, what is this? Chi Chi is counting her jellies Again and again, I think she is having some difficulty in counting the jellies. Look, 
चू चू हैज कम ही विल डेफिनेटली हेल्प चीची लेट्स सी हेलो चीची ओ व्हाट हैपेंड व्हाई आर यू सो अपसेट ओ चू चू आई हैड फिफ्टी जेलीज विथ मी एंड फ्रॉम दोज I gave twenty-three jellies to my friend Meethi, so I should have thirty-seven jellies left with me. But there are only twenty-seven jellies here. Chichi, you gave twenty-three jellies from your fifty jellies, right? Yes. So now tell me, how did you know that fifty minus twenty-three is equal to? Thirty-seven. Look here, I did fifty minus twenty-three with the help of the table of ones, tens, and I got thirty-seven as the answer. Oh, Chichi, look here carefully. You borrowed one from five tens of the box of tens, and brought ten ones in the place of ones, but you forgot. To subtract one ten from five tens in the box of tens. Oh yes, you are right, Chuchu. So here, if we will subtract one ten from five tens in the box of tens, then it will be four tens. If we will subtract two tens from four tens, then we will be left with two tens. Yes. So this way. If we will subtract twenty-three jellies from fifty jellies, then you will be left with only twenty-seven jellies. Yes, now I have understood it well. Thank you so much, Chuchu. Look, Chichi, in subtraction, whenever we borrow ten from a digit, we have to reduce that digit by a ten. Yes, Chuchu. From now on, I will remember that. Did you see how easily Chuchu solved Chichi's difficulty? So today we have learned some interesting facts related to subtraction of two-digit numbers with borrowing. In the next video, we will understand how both subtraction and addition are useful.